Hi, I'm Troy Deitmeyer, Pioneer Field Agronomist. I'm located here in Northeast Iowa, which is the rootworm capital of the world. Lately, there's been some misinformation going around about corn rootworm traits, so we just thought we'd take this opportunity called Truth in Triples to make sure that everybody has the actual facts. Now, when it comes to traits out in the industry, we can basically divide them into two different categories. And as you can see from the chart, one can be grouped into what we call the CRY 3B proteins. Commonly, Duracade, VT3, and the AgriSure MIR 604 event. Now the majority of the weight that's being carried by the rootworm technology out there is the Herculex rootworm trait. Now there's two different versions of this. There's an older version, which is used in the AMXT and also in smart stacks. And then there is the newer, more efficient, higher yielding event, which is DP4114, and that's used in Chrome. Now, all of the BT events are low dose traits when it comes to rootworm events. So we're always gonna have a few survivors, and this is why it's so important to have that refuge component in the bag. Also, when we talk about low dose events, we wanna make sure that we're doing other management factors than just using the trait such as things like rotating away from corn, using insecticide with the planter, and doing adult beetle management, which some people call beetle bombing, and as well as managing our pollination timing to make sure that we don't have a trap crop every year. So just a few fun facts for you guys to take into account, because there's some information going around, well, if we choose one seed company over another, we'll be using someone else's trait. When it comes down to these pyramided products are all basically using a Cry 3B as well as a Herculex rootworm version. So again, if you have any more questions, be sure to contact your local Pioneer sales rep. Thank you.